In this video, we look at the graphical user interface of Windows Vista. If you are still using Windows XP and you've never really seen the Windows Vista interface, this video is going to show you the Windows Vista interface. If you are a Mac user and you've never seen Windows Vista, then the, the next couple of videos will give you introduction to the Windows Vista interface or graphical user interface. We're going to start with the taskbar here. This black bar that you see down on the bottom of your screen. This is this is called the taskbar. And here it shows you all the things that you are running and basically it's your gateway to doing anything on this computer. So we look at this button right here called the start button. In Windows XP you have the little green button with the word start that has been replaced with the Windows Vista globe and the Windows logo and when you click it it shows you some a couple of things here first it shows you programs that you have access to anything above this line right here it shows you things or programs that you have you can quickly access by going to the start menu and, and clicking there. As of right now, I have Internet Explorer and um, Outlook. Below this line are recently opened programs that automatically show up when you open them. Here is a search box and you can go here and search for any programs. I want to search for Word and as you can see it shows up Microsoft Word and it depending on whatever program or file or folder you want to look up you can quickly search it and go here for that the all programs menu shows you all your programs that you have access to the programs that's on your computer starting with uh, default programs for Microsoft or extension shortcuts like I have my Adobe Reader which is a nice little shortcut that's on my programs menu and then these folders represent programs that have more programs in it such as my Microsoft Office you see that it has multiple things in it if you go to Nero my Nero I have various programs for that and it basically organizes your program listing and keeps everything from being cluttered like in Windows XP. Here shows you a nice little picture of your um, account picture. If by clicking it you can go ahead and you can change your settings for your account. Here you have your home folder, documents, pictures, music, and games. You have your recently opened files or folders, your computer, network, connect to a network, your control panel, and you have your default programs and so forth. Here you have this button which when you open things such as a folder or Firefox you have multiple things open you usually have to click these tabs to try to bounce back and forth between programs and so forth a nice button here which you can do you can clear the screen of all activity and get sent right back to your uh, desktop and that's what that button does same thing here except this time Windows Vista wants to go a little fancy with it and it shows you with this nice 3D effect and by clicking it and using the up and down arrows you can switch back and forth between programs and so forth. If you hit the alt tab key it shows you a more quicker way to do that and if you hit the control tab key and hit the tab key, while holding down the control key and well not the control key the command uh, key I should say and hitting the tab you see that you can switch back and forth 
this is called the Windows Aerial Effect, 3D Aerial Effect, and um, it's quite nice and fancy if that's what you prefer to do. Now I do need to correct myself. Currently, I'm using a MacBook Pro, um, so if you're going to use the 3D effect, it's not going to be Command Tab. You're actually going to need to hit the Windows uh, Tab. I think it's the Windows uh, Tab, the Windows button, then Tab, and so forth, or the Control or Alt key. So that's how you use the aerial effect. Here is the space, and if you open folders or so forth you see that you have these tabs here and if by going to them it shows you a nice little preview inside when whenever you go to a hover over one of these tabs it gives you a nice little preview of them so that's a nice way to go to your um, whatever you're working on let's look at the things over here now here we have a clock, and by clicking it, it shows us the calendar, the time, and so forth. All of this can be edited with the change date and time settings. Your network, network, and um, you have. I'm currently on a MacBook Pro, so I have a battery um, button here that shows me my battery. Um, I have some security programs and this is my Camtasia recording little icon by left clicking I can stop my recording delete and so forth I don't want to do that and this arrow here brings you some more um, little icons these icons basically navigate you into special services that you have on your computer it's like your security software you're gonna have little icons here that's gonna open up your a wizard to any of your security or any applications that you have on here. This can be editable too, and so forth. Let's close these windows. And you have some icons here. These items here represent icons, and in turn, they represent programs, folders that you have on your computer. And of course, all of this can be editable and I have the computer here my VMware sharing folder which is used for when I'm using VMware Fusion um, my home folder and of course I have some other programs here which I use and then I have a folder here and uh, that's basically it for the graphical user interface of um, the Windows Vista GUI I'm gonna do a part two of this video and we're gonna look more in detail with the actual folder appearance of Windows Vista. So in the next video we're, we're gonna look at the graphical user interface of the folders of Windows Vista.